Hey, welcome to Think Creative TV. My name is Matt Pullen and I am your host for all things iPad in the classroom. Please, if you haven't already subscribed, tap on the subscribe button here and you can get up to date information on all of my new videos. Let's get stuck into one now. Okay, so in this video, we're going to take a look at how we can use Notes, a really, really great app. Um, yes, obviously for taking notes, but really versatile. And if you please do check out the rest of the videos in the Notes playlist to have a look at some of the other features and, and tips and tricks that you can do with this. Today's video, though, is just going to be the basics of how to get started with Notes. So let's jump straight in. So I'm going to open the Notes app on my device and I'm going to start a new note. That's this icon at the top here. And you see that this gives me a blank page. Now, if I tap on the arrows here, it will also give me the full real estate of the page in order to make my note. Now, obviously, I've got the cursor flashing here. That's showing me that I can start to type and we can start to make a written note. But there's a lot of other things that you can do as well. So we're just going to go through the different icons on the page just to show you what each of them can do. And I'm going to start in the bottom right corner here. Now, if you notice that this is slightly different how it looks on your device, it's because I'm using my keyboard. If I take my device off the keyboard, this is probably the, the, seat, the screen that you will see. But I'm just going to show you this with um, out the keyboard there, just to show you a little bit more real estate. But you'll see it looks exactly the same. Um, but my keyboard is a physical keyboard. So starting down the bottom here, this little icon here, this is a pen tool. This means when I tap on this, if you've got a stylus or the Apple Pencil, we can now start to draw directly on our page. So make written notes, make drawings, diagrams, whatever it might be. Okay, so that's a really, really useful tool. And again, similar to markup, we have a range of, of tools down the bottom here from the pen and the different thicknesses highlighter, a pencil, an eraser, a select tool, which allows you to copy and paste things, a ruler, which is a really, really useful tool. And again, check out the other videos for you know the purpose of where you would use this, etc. But it's a really, really useful tool to use. All of your colors, and then some um, you know other options in here where you can auto minimize things. And that means that my little toolbar is gonna disappear when I'm not using it. Um, and obviously when I tap on it, it'll open up again. So a really, really useful tool. Okay, when I'm done doing a drawing, tap on done. It takes me back to my main page. So that's the drawing tool. Here is the camera tool. So if I tap on this, these are the things that I can add in. Again, I've got other videos which will show you this in more detail, but I can add in uh, scans of documents. So it turns the device into a scanner and collates that into notes. Take a photo or video live. So just add that directly into my notes or access anything from my photo library and then the checklist. So let's imagine that we wanted to put together, uh, you know, things that needed to be done for a lesson, for your day, etc. So we've got assembly, then you might be doing a literacy session, and it might be break, etc. I'm just listing things, okay? But if I tap on any of them and then tap on the tick, I can actually turn this, oops, turn this into a tick list which means that I can tick off when they're done. Now, that's a very basic example of when you might use it, but it could be, you know, um, a meeting that you're in and you've got a set of tasks that need to be completed. You know that when you tick them, they'll just drop down and you can highlight that they've been done. So it's a really, really nice tool to use. Okay, moving over to the other side. Uh, ignore that these are just obviously the um, corrective text that you can have just as ideas. Here's the list of you know styles that we might want to change. So really, really quick kind of access to a, a very basic word processor, but a, a useful word processor nonetheless. Option to chat to add in some very very simple grids that you can just kind of you know add, move around, change you know details in. There's, there's quite a lot that you can do in this. You know add the add the rows etc. Um, so really really simple. So again, lots and lots of options in there. And the videos that are on the playlist will show you a little bit more detail. Coming back up to the top then, if I wanted to create a new note, that's what this icon is here. This one is my share icon. So again, if I tap on that, it gives me the option to share that uh, to different people. Quick access to markup, pin the notes, lock the notes. You know, there's lots and lots of uh, functions in here that you can use. Obviously delete. 
And then this one here, which is really useful, the ability to be able to collaborate. So if you are working as part of a team, if you've got students who want to work together as a team, to be able to have a collaborative note space is a really, really useful tool. And this is how you would do that. The second one there said move to shared folder. So let's take a look at what folders looks like on my device. This, these are all the folders that I have. Uh, again, great tip that I have to share is please do make folders for things. It might feel alien at first because you might think, well, why do I need folders? I've only got three notes in there. You'll eventually get loads of notes. And if you have kind of a structure for where those notes might go, then at least you know that you know, you'll be able to find them later on. Um, you can search for things, um, but this is just a, it's just good practice, I think. To quickly make a new folder, tap on new folder, give the name of your folder. Uh, I'm just going to just put the letter A because I'm just going to appear at the top of my list. Okay, so there's my new folder. And if I cap it, tap into it now and start a new note, it's going to give me that note on the side. Now, if you are using an Apple Pencil, one thing to highlight here is that if I write... Oops, I'm going to change my pen a second. Go back to my pen. If I write on here, you'll notice that it is actually uh, doing some form of handwriting recognition because the note has now picked that up from text into type. So that's something that's quite useful to know. Um, whether that becomes a feature on the device across the board, I'm not sure, but it's a really, really nice feature here. So there we go, some very, very basic how to get started with creating notes on the iPad. Now, one last thing to highlight to you, and that is um, if you are again using an Apple Pencil, from the lock screen on your device, if you tap the screen with your Apple Pencil, then that's going to take you straight into a new note. So if you ever need to make a quick note whilst you're in the middle of a session, um, rather than opening up the device, finding the notes app, all of that, you can just tap the screen, it will take you to a new note. And finally, you can also have notes as an option on your control center, which is this one here, which again is a quick access to notes. So just if this is something you think you're gonna use a lot, that's probably the way that you would want to do it. So there we go, how to get started with notes.